We feature a lot of awesome shorts at shortoftheweek.com, but let's be honest, more than a few of them are elaborate productions with some hefty budgets. So this week, I thought we'd give the little guy his due and highlight our top five short films that were created on a very, very low budget. Like, I'm talking super cheapo, like, we only have enough money to buy food for actors type of production. A special shout out to YouTube user Galen Howard, who inspired the idea for this list. Thanks, Galen. First up is Peter Lewis's The Camera. Peter shot this beautiful and surreal fantasy drama two summers ago while on vacation at the beach. Shooting at his family's beach cottage using a basic DSLR, Peter cast his sister as the lead and did everything else himself. He even cut it on a trial version of Final Cut Pro X software. The final bill for the short? 50 bucks. And that was for the old Polaroid camera he used as a prop. How's that for cheap? In the number four slot, we have Inspired by Brett Easton Ellis, a short video by director Matthew Ross. It's a perfect send-up of author Brett Easton Ellis's signature style, as well as an awesome satire of the vapid nature of Hollywood. It was shot with a cheapo camera and no lighting. Plus, it's got James Vanderbeek, so you know it was really low budget. Next, we have Hello Caller from Andrew, I have no idea how to pronounce your last name, Pooch-Nagel, and writer Tom Lank. Granted, this one is essentially just a comedy sketch, but it is a really funny comedy sketch about a woman who calls a suicide hotline and finds a slightly abnormal response on the other end. Four simple shot setups, three locations, two awesome performances, zero budget. At number two, there's He Dies at the End, directed by Damian McCarthy on a cheapskate budget. This is the most terrifying four minutes you will spend all day. It's an agonizing black and white exercise in suspense that is so simple, yet oh so effective. You will scream, I promise. And finally, taking the number one slot, we have Orange Drive. While other kids were laying down some significant dough on their short films for their UCLA thesis, director Mark Lester went for a decidedly more lo-fi approach. Using a 5D, a cheap suction car mount, and a lot of duct tape, Lester shoots the entire film from the hood of the main character's car. The result is a funny and surprisingly touching take on growing up. This is a phenomenal short, one of my favorites from this year, low budget or otherwise. Well, there you have it five awesome low-budget shorts for you to check out. Hopefully they serve as some form of inspiration. Remember, at the end of the day, story is the most important aspect of your short, and good stories don't always require a massive budget. I will see you next time. I'm Ivan Kander.